What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so here we are, guys, in another side quest of our choosing, because we got the Surf Technique, might as well. And, uh, well, you know, we might as well get some water, you know, be phenomenal or be forgotten, guys. Here we go. Mm. Anywho, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. So, in our last few, or in our last episode, we went through quite a few beginning, uh, well, I can't even really explain, but I, we went through a few uh, routes with the surf technique. Managed to, you know, do a little something, something, just surf around, visit the sights, the scenes, everything, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, well... We managed to get, grab a few items of, of our choosing and all that crud, and, uh, well, we're going to be continuing it on right here, all the way to, I, I want to say, Palestone? Palestone City and all that stuff. So, as you guys can see right here, we've never crossed this, uh, this little lake, ocean area right here, so I think it's time to do so and start uh, battling on to many, uh, many, many trainers. As you guys can see, there are some, uh, well, solid areas right here that we can actually cross and make sure that, you know, we can, uh, we can get to people and I think yeah we can't cross these rocks right here so there really isn't anything that you can do except yeah nothing right here I'm just <laughs> I guess this is a fishing spot which well you guys can find some rare Pokemon if you yeah, if you guys started fishing right here and uh, well let's see we can't go through here how huh, in the heck okay so this is like a little maze and there's somebody spinning right there I think I should switch Pokemon just in case uh, Wow I had completely forgot that. <coughs> Holy Lord. Um, that Toothless has fainted and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, give it its stats. And Hmm. I think for this situation, we're going to go straight to our box and bring out, let's see, Electro Star. Let's go ahead and bring Electro Star and switch it out for Mew de Uno. And uh, give it a few more points right here. Now, I get that, like. Why are you using multiple Pokemon if we're getting down to the to the point where, like, you know, we might be getting to the Elite Four and all that stuff? Well, I like to be diverse. I like to just take care of everything right here. And, well, I don't know what's going on. We're going into a battle. And, well, here we are taking on Swimmer Haley. And she will be having two Pokemon right here. Here she is coming out with a Meryl. And, uh, well, I'm going to bring this up every single time, guys. What did you guys think about the Pika Blue rumors? when that Pokemon right there uh, came out to be a Meryl rather than a Pika Blue and all that. Just asking the question right here. So, there we go. Shockwave. Let's get it for the win. And Meryl is not feeling so good right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Finishing it off. And, well, we are on Egg Watch, obviously, because well, we got a Pokemon Egg in our team. And uh, I'm assuming it's a Togepi. Could be a Togepi. So, let's go with the Volt Switch for the win. And just like that, Azumarill has been defeated. Well, look at that. And we got ourselves some extra points. Toothless grows to level 35 while Hydra grows to level 37. And just like that, Haler, or Haley has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next spot. You're going to be fighting some Sailors. There might be an item here, here, there, and, uh, well, we're gonna be using a repel. Actually, we used up all of our max repels, I believe. So, going on with a super repel right here. Oh, yeah, we can go right here and battle a swimmer. There's always, there, there's always something. There's always, like, a catch when it comes to these kinds of guys and all that. But here we are taking on Shelton, and... Well, he's going to be coming out with his Gyarados, so I might as well just be using a more powerful Pokemon here. Or make a Pokemon powerful. So here is Electro Star using the Intimidate. Yes, we are intimidating with our Super Saiyan hair. And, well, we're, we're intimidating ourselves right here. So that's, that's, that's hilarious. That's funny. So let's go straight for a Shockwave attack. And, well, here it is. Shockwave for the win. Eight times damage, I would like to say. Probably. And, oh, there you go. Monfernomon grows to level 42, and uh, it is learning Fire Spin. So, let me take a look at this. Okay, so, Fire Spin right here is a special attack, 35 power, you know, 85 a a accuracy. I don't need it at the moment because, uh, yeah, it's a continuous attack. I get it, it would work, but 
I kind of don't want to use it right now. So, here we go, taking on another another Gyarados. And remember, guys, you guys are playing Pokemon Di Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The only thing that they actually did right was bringing out the, uh, what was it called, the VS Seeker. I, I kind of feel as though that they probably should have brought that out in other iterations if they don't want to make anything easy right here. And, well, just like that, we're going to be taking on more Gyaradoses. Well... Our, uh, our, our, our our physical attack gets lowered every single time. At this point, we're like at four levels down. So, let's go right ahead. Shockwave for the win. And a Gyarados has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, let's go. And, well, Shelton is not so happy about that. Wow, he's snapping that. Those, wow, okay, so what was the point of all that? Why would you want to hurt yourself? I don't even know. Okay, so here we go. Go right here, and let's go ahead and uh, not do that. Get this Pokeball right here. Here we found ourselves a Max Revive, and usually, well, these are very hard to come by in, well, in any game possible. So make sure to save them for the Elite Four, guys, and then talk to this girl right here. She's like, <laughs> welcome to my private beach. Uh, this is uh, this place is wonderful, isn't it? I'll give you this uh, as a token of our, of our friendship, and here we get ourselves a One Party Sticker B. Which, I, I I would have to say thank you. Thank you for the gift. I mean, stickers are pretty cool. Uh, but I am not one to decorate my Pokeballs, as many of you guys already know. I'm like, I'm the least, you know. No swag at all. I'm not swagging out my stuff. So, let's go ahead and battle. Let's go ahead and uh, defeat some Pokemon trainers right here. And here we are taking on Sailor Paul. Mm -hmm. And he's coming out with the Gyarados. Now, I did get the question on uh, on my comments right here. Where did I get this? Uh, well, this was actually a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. I can't remember. Christmas gift. And uh, <laughs> it's been popular as of late. I mean, it's just the motto that I go after uh, or go by, you know. Um, it first came out with my semi-pro team. You guys don't know that, you know, I, 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 I do dabble a lot in the football and... Well, there we go, defeating that, and here comes a Machop, so let's go right ahead and switch it to Starblade right here. Yeah, one of our team leaders on our very first championship run said, be phenomenal or be forgotten, and that thing stuck, so that's a, that, that's definitely a, that's definitely a motto that I like to go by, and maybe pass it on right here onto this channel, you know, leave a positive uh, message for, you know, everybody right here, and, well, let's go right ahead and be phenomenal and be, and not be forgotten by using Aerial Ace Attack onto this Pokemon right here. Machop defeated. Alrighty, and well, Sailor Paul has been defeated. Yeah, buddy, alrighty. He's trying to do like the Macarena or something. It's pretty hilarious. Okay, so let's go ahead and move ahead right here. Like I said, this is like a maze right here. And um, well, there might be items, hidden items probably. Check every rock, guys. And uh, well, let's go right here. There are two trainers that we might be battling eventually. And, wow. Okay, so this is a fun-filled episode of How Many People Can We Beat? Featuring your badass host, Draven. And, well, here we go. Swimmer Evan wants to battle. And look at that. He's trying to show off with the whole Pokeball going through his shoulder. Man, that... Wow. Whoa. So here we go. Electrostar ready to go. Alrighty. And Electrostar's staring that Pokemon down. He's like, yeah, you're not going to do anything to me. All right, Mr. Speedo Torpedo, time to uh, catch these uh, Thunderbolt or these Bolt Switch and stuff. So here we go, Bolt Switch for the win, and there we go. There, there goes our good old buddy. Uh, what was it called? Gold Duck. So Bolt Switch does its trick. We get Electro Star to grow to level 37, and we're gonna be choosing a Pokemon to to replace Electro Star. So let's go straight to Star Blade. That way we can get to level 40 with it. So here it is, Starblade with the Teemo hair, and here comes a, well, here comes a Golbat, or Golduck and all that, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and let's go with the takedown attack, well, well, we'll take the damage right here, so here we go, takedown attack for the win, and there goes Golduck, defeated, and uh, we, take, we take a nice bunch right there. And just like that, Starblade grows to level 40, while Toothless, not doing anything, grows to level 36. And, well, Swimmer Evan is not so happy. Why do you guys do that? You know that's gonna, you know that's gonna damage your eyes? That's, 
that's not good. That is not good at all, guys. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, we're not going to replace any Pokemon, so let's go ahead and take on another trainer right here. Hello there! Aren't you going to swim? I would, but <laughs> I kind of want to use my Pokemon instead. So, here we go, taking on Swimmer Mary. And she is coming out with a Meryl, while your boy is coming out with Electrostar. For the win right here. Alright, so Electrostar, how's it going? Intimidate Pika Blue. And, uh, yeah, if, if I were to use a Meryl on my team, I would literally call it Pika Blue. Just, just for the sake of us all old, old heads where, you know, we literally thought this was a Pika Blue coming in. Um, I think the first appearance of this Pokemon was, like, the, the, I guess the adventure uh, where he, like, after the Indigo uh, League, where he met up with Tracy and all that stuff, and Brock kind of got dumped by Professor Ivy. And look at this! It has Drizzle, so it just uh, it just sealed its fate right there. So, let's go Shockwave for the win! And just like that, Pelipper has been defeated. Yeah, that's right. That's how you do things up here. Okay, alrighty. And she is not so happy. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be happy either if I used Drizzle and powered my opponent's Pokemon up right here. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. This is a Water Stone, which many of you guys already know. We can evolve a Pokemon with. Um, let's see. Anything else right here? I just, I would like to check. You know, I like to be secure about things. And, well, not there. And... Go right here. Let's go with another Repel. And... Let's go right here. So... I think we're I think we're getting towards the very end of this whole thing right here. Well, this little particular area right here. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. I'm using the toggle button right here. It's there's a little bit more lever, uh, liberty or whatever, just a little more movement and all that stuff. Alrighty, let's get the heck out of here. All right, Bibro, our Lord and Savior. Um, we go right here. And uh, well, let's see. Okay, we can't go there. Right over here, and we're going to be swimming elsewhere. We're going to be battling some more trainers. As you guys can see, there are two trainers just swimming around here. And we're getting attacked by a Pokemon that is at a higher level than us. And, well, look at this. We have encountered a Wild Tentacruel. This must be a very powerful one. And... You know, I've always been amazed by a Tentacruel. I always wanted to use one. And this guy is at level four, uh, level 38. Wow, okay. So here comes a hex attack. This? Oh, wow. It, wow, okay. So again, I'm going to try and capture it, see what my luck is. And that way, it, that one's a little too super effective. So we're going to get it one more time. And here comes a screech attack. This Pokemon right here. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So let's go straight for another shockwave attack. And. Let's go ahead and capture a Pokemon right here. Let's go with a Netball for the win. I'm going to capture you. That's right. One, two. Wow, you know this Pokemon is powerful when he breaks. Oh, wow, here comes a Bubble Beam attack. Okay, so this Pokemon is not taking anything for uh, anything lightly, so you're deserving of, a, of an Ultra Ball right here. So here we go, Ultra Ball. Stay in that ball. Come on. Don't be lame. Come on. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that right there increases our Pokemon's points. And we got Tentacruel's data into the Pokedex. As you guys can see, here we have Tentacruel, the jellyfish Pokemon. It is both water and poison, very unique typing. With 80 tentacles for ensnaring victims, it prevents escape until the victim or the prey is weakened by poison. And, uh... Hmm, I want to nickname this Pokemon Jelly Belly or something. We're going to name it Jelly Belly. Yeah, it's the first thing that came to my mind, Jelly Belly. If you guys, uh, I don't know how long you guys have been on my channel, or for those who have been on my channel for a very long time, you may have remembered me as DravenXC711 in my second uh, version of Pokemon Emerald. Or third? I think I did three Pokemon Emerald versions. Jelly Belly. And I remember... Yeah, Jelly Belly. Uh, I remember... Actually, I'm not going to put him on my Pokemon team or anything. Let's see. 
I could. It's very tempting, guys. Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna... Let's see, let's let's go ahead and take a look at this summary right here. So this Pokemon right here is at level 38. A very powerful Pokemon, a unique typing, and its special attack is not that great, but its special defense is right up there. Liquid Ooze. The Ooze Liquid has a strong stench, which damages attackers by, by any draining move. So that right there would work. And look at that. It's a pretty... Yeah. Okay, so I might be... I might want to use this Pokemon as a strategic Pokemon or something. Who knows? Um, if you guys may have remembered, as me as Draven XU711, um, what was it? You know, I had in, a ten, I had a Tentacruel that actually won me the match and all that. That was fun. Anywho, we're reaching our time limit. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty. Okay, so we're back, guys. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, start battling some more trainers right here. He, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to fight me. Oh, no. He gives me three stickers. Okay. Three stickers. That's good. And, well, let's talk to her if she wants to battle me. Uh, get out of my way. I'll give you... Okay, so they, they both give me stickers. They just want me to get out of the way, which is it's fair enough. I didn't really want to battle much anyways. Um, let's see. There's a Pokemon trainer right there. And check this out. I synchronized Crawl with my Float Cell. Powerful, isn't it? As thanks for watching me swim, take these. And here we get ourselves three stickers. Wow. I, had, I don't know what I'm going to be using with those stickers. Hmm. Okay. Now, there is a spot right here where you can actually, you know, you can actually get to and then crawl up there. Unfortunately, we do not have rock climb at the moment. So that is a... That is something for later in the game. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see, I don't know you. I uh, saw you surfing courageously over the water. The sight of your elegance was inspiring. Please take these as a token of my appreciations. And, wow, we get more stickers. Wow. Stickers. You gotta love them. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Really don't. Anywho, let's go. Let's do this. And, well, we're gonna be uh, resting up right here. So if you guys are wondering, this is the spot where you need to rest. And, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do around here? Well, we can't get to that Pokeball because of, you know, simple stuff like, you know, rock climbing or anything. So, let's see. The next place on our list is... Well, we're trying to figure that out right now, so I'm just going to be running. And the reason I'm running, too, is just to make sure that this egg hatched. Uh, so let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at that egg. See if it, if it's, like, you know, moving around or doing something. And Mysterious Man, we got this back in February, and it moves a little, just occasionally. So we're, we're moving. We're doing something. And it looks like to me there's no body of water right here. I, um... I don't know why I did that. So let's go right ahead and run through this area. Now this is all for me just to uh, to to hatch that egg. I am I'm pretty darn sure that this is a uh, this is Togepi. If this is the case, then yeah, this is a Pokemon that we're probably going to be we might want to be using. And well, would you look at that? We found ourselves a body of water. So let's go right ahead and see what we can find in that area. And Bibro, look at that. Looking uh, all. Uh, all uh, dopey and all that crud, and well, let's see. We got ourselves a rare candy, which is great. Could, uh, could never run out of rare candies and all that stuff, and well, let's see. Right here. And well, let's see. We're going beyond 214, and now we are hitting. What town are we hitting? Veilstone? It, I think it's Veilstone, right? Yes, it's Veilstone City. And there is a place that I kind of want to visit because, let's see, style shop, yes. I think it's time for us to switch uh, switch our clothes just a little bit. That's not, the, that's not the spot. Now, if you guys remember, if you guys are old school Pokemon gamers like I am, there's no more Game Corner because of gambling. That's pretty much what it is. So they made it into a dress shop right here. And, well, let's see, the metronome shop. Let's see, I would like to shop. And we, yeah, we literally have no money for anything. Wow. The one I want to get, oh, wow, we can look like a punk rocker. Uh, casual style. This looks like a hipster uh, spring style. It is not spring. It's, we're hitting into fall. The winter style, look at that. We can go there. Uh, cyber style. This is the, the most popular one. And I, oh, wow, I can buy that. Okay, I'm buying that. So... Yes, I take my money, and yes, we would like to put it on, and BAM! Sexy, you know what, and, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. 
All right, so we squander our money just to look a little different, look like a cyberpunk or something like that. Okay, alrighty. Uh, let's see. I think we've already covered uh, most spots. I think the one spot that we need to really cover is going back down to Twin Leaf. So we might we might just do that. And I do not know why I did that. Uh, let's see. We go right here, and yeah. Again, I, I I don't know why I turned on a rappel just to yeah. Let's see. Oh, this part. Yeah, there's no body of water right here except for. There might be one spot. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously just running. I'm running for, uh, well, I'm actually, I'm actually running just for the, you know, just for extra steps for the Pokemon egg, and you know, it, it, it can never hurt just to do that. So let's go right ahead and uh, move on along and waste more uh, repels while we're at it. We got plenty of them, I guess, and. Well, let's see. That's not the spot. Good gravy. Okay, come on. Right here. And we are back into round 215. Into round 210. And we are headed straight towards another area. And, well, look at that. We're running slow because somebody's in the way right here. How do we run slow on long, gla on long grass? I do not know. And now crossing this area right here. Yes, we are. We are getting deep. We're getting fogged up. So let's go right ahead and uh, click that. And Seraptor, yes, you are defogging this whole situation. And well, let's see. There's a person right there, and we're not going to be attacked at all. And well, let's see. Yeah, it just needs rock climb. So I think. I think we covered a lot of this this spot right here. I and and I also think that we need uh let's see, I think we need waterfall just to just get towards some areas right here. Could be wrong. Let's see. Yeah, waterfall is needed. Yeah, waterfall is definitely needed. So let's go right over here to Celestic Town. And uh, well we're gonna stop it right here, guys, because uh well I didn't want to go in there, but we're going to stop it right here because uh, we have more Pokemon battles to achieve, more, I would have to say, uh, more, more more ground to cover. Just one more, you know, side quest before we even go into Candlelight City. So, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for, you know, all the support and everything that you guys have provided me right here on YouTube. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. See you guys.